What's up Church Media Pros today we've got a quick tip about how to save and recall your settings in ATEM Software Control. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward and on this channel we talk about all things church media production and advertising. And guys, today I want to have a quick talk about how to save XMLs in uh, your ATEM software control program so that you can restore them later. So let's jump on into it guys. This is going to be a quick video. I uh, don't have a ton of time today, but I wanted to put something out there because um, every week I try to put out at least three videos. So here we go. Um, when you're in ATEM software control, here is our setup at our church. We have a pro presenter on our first channel. We have a front of house camera. We have a couple rovers. We have a wide, a side, and that is it for our um, camera channels. Um, we also do a upstream key that we uh, toggle on and off on this uh, this on air button here. So the uh, other things that we have saved is our audio. We bring audio in via XLR from our uh, X32 that we have in our live stream production booth. We get audio through uh, the Dante uh, audio system that we have installed at our church. We have digital snakes coming from our Yamaha um, uh, Rio units. So the uh, R series IO units go to uh, all of our different Dante enabled devices, including the X32, which has the uh, Dante uh, Dante card in it, the X Dante card. And uh, so that's what gets the audio. We mix it inside the X32 and then we transfer it via XLR to ATEM software control, which uh, it, the interface that we use is the uh, TV studio 4K. So as you can see here, that's labeled up top. So uh, we don't have any uh, Blackmagic cameras currently that we're running out of this. Uh, we just use the switcher and the audio tab. So a uh, couple things that, you know, occasionally you'll have a power outage or, you know, somebody will accidentally trip a breaker or what have you and your ATEM software control will, uh, will go down. Um, thankfully, most of the time it recalls its settings, but if it doesn't, this is where it gets super important. You can actually go up to file and hit save and save as if you'd like to, if this is the first time that you're doing it. If you can hit this auto save button and that will work very well. We have this auto saved all the time. Uh, we make sure it's on all the time because we do make some uh, changes occasionally. But if you want to, you can uh, you can just save your, your standard settings. In fact, I highly recommend that you do that because uh, things like in your Luma key here, if, uh, if, if ProPresenter is your, uh, your overlay, which most of you are going to be using at least um, that in an upstream key or a downstream key. Um, you want to make sure that these recall correctly as well as your audio settings, guys. So when you get a power outage, sometimes this will all default back to, to the on position and you might get uh, camera audio from your front of house camera, which is going to just be the camera mic uh, potentially. And you don't want your, uh, your online experience or whatever you're broadcasting to, to have that roomy um, sort of gross, uh, you know, camera mic uh, sound. So um, what we do is we go up to file, we hit uh, save as if it's your first time, you know, save it to the desktop if, it, if it's on a computer or, or put it in a place where you know it's going to be easily found by volunteers. And then you can go in and hit restore and it's going to, if you restore your XML, it's going to put everything back into place. Um, I do have another video on macros guys, I'll link that in the description below and that's a little bit more advanced where you can actually set macro, um, uh, set macros up so that you can do some automations. Um, that video actually includes some automations of the faders which is actually a little bit more advanced so check that out if you'd like to know more about how to use macros in ATEM software control. But this is just a simple one guys, whenever, you know, if you have, if you have youth on Wednesdays and uh, church on uh, the weekend, you may want different settings for those. So uh, so go ahead and save a youth uh, file and uh, have make sure that your youth volunteers know to recall the youth uh, XML for, for ATM software control. I have a client that does live streaming um, in, a, in a completely different regard. They do some, um, some awesome uh, cycling videos. They're, they're a bunch of cycling trainers. Um, check them out at, uh, at motosumo.com actually if you're interested in some uh, live streamed um, videos of, of uh, cycling trainers. It's fantastic. It's very similar to Peloton, 
but uh, but more of their trainers are actually live streamed. So they use ATEM software control, and each trainer has their own uh, setup as far as um, their own personal XML file that they recall. Some some uh, some trainers all use the same studio. You know, two or three of them might use the same studio, and so they'll just uh, name their XML file and recall that based on the settings that they have. They're they're using different audio gains for each of their microphones, and they may have different um, switcher profiles for their their specific stream. So, um, yeah, guys, this, that's it. All I got for this video. I just want you to know that that's available to you, um, so that you're not scrambling. You know, if you if you have a power outage, be, uh, you know, over the week, you come in on a Sunday morning. You know, you have an early service, and you're going, why is everything sound so weird? Go to uh, or look so weird for that matter. Go to file. Go to restore or just hit uh, Command R on a Mac to, uh, to restore your, your previous file and you'll be good to go. So with that guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like coffee and video production or uh, uh, church media production rather, head over to freejuice.com, freejuicecoffee.com, order yourself a 12 ounce bag of roasted to order coffee. That will help support this channel guys. We'll really appreciate it. They have fantastic uh, it's a single origin coffees. They do flavored coffees. If your church uh, does uh, coffee service for your um, organizations, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to get you in contact with a with a fantastic uh, Christian coffee producer out of the Midwest, and uh, we ship all over the United uh, the 48 United uh, continental United States. And if you use code Free Ship USA at checkout, you'll get free. Uh, $5 off the cost of shipping, which covers any retail bags of coffee, guys. So thank you so much for watching and God bless.